Hi, and welcome to another, this is a very, very exciting episode of Alpha Omega. I usually say that before all my videos, but I'm usually lying because they're not very exciting. But this one actually is very exciting because I think I've discovered a new trick that the A7S can do, and I think I'm the first person maybe to discover it, or at least, you know, first person to broadcast it. This could be breaking stuff, I don't know. I hope it is because, you know, yay, go me. Anyway, short story long, while I was editing the uh, the video for the A7S review, I was looking at footage from like the, my friend's barbecue, the autofocus stuff, and um, I was using my Sony 51.8 for all of it, and I was using it in full frame mode a lot of the times because, um, yeah, I mean, it's only a slight vignette, so I just kind of um, use like the digital zoom to go in like 1.2 times because I figured lose some resolution, it wouldn't really be a big deal. Um, when I was editing the footage, I noticed that, you know, the 1.2 zoomed footage looked really good. Like, I couldn't really tell the, tell it from, like, the APS-C crop footage. So I was like, you know, I was like, oh, that's pretty nice. This is a highly resolved camera. Anyway, a couple days later, uh, actually today, actually, this morning, I was having coffee. And I was just thinking and pondering. And I started thinking about digital zooms. And I started thinking, like, typically digital zooms are horrible. Like on the A6000 it sucked. Because basically what that camera did was it took the 1080p file that it was it was uh, recording onto the onto the memory card and it would just zoom into that. Like I did some tests. I don't have them. I think I you know deleted them or something, but basically where I where I used the digital zoom and I took, you know, like just like a regular file and I zoomed in on the on the regular file and I compared it to the digital zoom and it was like basically the same thing. But then I started thinking about the A7S and I was like well, the difference between the A7S and the A6000 is that the A6000, the sensor um, has to like line skip and bin, what do you call it, the, t the 24 megapixel sensor into a two, into like a 1080p image. So by the time the processor gets the image to do a digital zoom, it's already at 1080p. But the A7S, <coughs> the sensor outputs a 4K image to the, the processor. It's a full sensor readout. So basically, the sensor outputs all of its data, and then the processor crunches it down in 1080p. So that kind of got me thinking, well, if it's doing that, then it's probably digitally zooming in on a 4K image, not a 1080p image. So maybe we can have like a lossless digital zoom. This could be sort of like a GH2 kind of thing. <coughs> so I did some tests, and what I found was quite, quite shocking. Shocking in a good way. Oh, by the way, I'm filming myself because I want to get this video as quick as possible, so production values are going to be pretty lame. But I'm also um, filming myself using this, uh, using the live view on my phone. Um, more on that in a future post. But uh, spoiler alert, it kind of sucks. So anyway, here is what I found. Here is a zoom ramp up. I took a picture of. Uh, I'm filming one of my paintings. I filmed this particular one because there's a lot of like really small text. So we're going to go from, you know, like from the first video is going to be just this, the straight full frame image and then we're going to go up to two times zoom, which is like the limit. Now we're going to do the same thing in APS-C crop mode.
Now comparing them both in close detail, you can tell like the, the digitally zoomed file is like there's detail in there that's not in the, the original file. Like you know what I mean? Like this is not like you can't just digitally sharpen this file and then get what you're getting out of there. That's that's new detail. That's separate. That's you know they're getting that from somewhere else. And then comparing uh, the one po a 1.5 zoom. The original file uh, zoomed in to 150%, and then um, the original APS-C file, and then blowing that up to 200%, you know, a lot of math, an APS-C crop. Like, the detail is not quite as good as APS-C crop, but it's, like, somewhere in between. Moving on, I tried to do a no I wanted to do a noise test to see how the noise profiles looked. So I shot this at 51,200, and um, here's a ramp up of that. As you can see, like the noise becomes um, bigger and bigger, which would indicate that they're that they're zooming in on the sensor, as opposed to just digitally blowing up what do you call it, the original file. So that gives you, I think, a pretty clear indication that this is not just digitally blowing up, you know, the original, you know, like the uh, the zero crop, the zero zoom file. And here's a comparison between the um, the original um, 1080p image um, <coughs> zoomed into 100 to one to to an APS-C size, the 1.5 zoom, and the APS-C crop. And you can see that the 1.5 zoom and the APS-C crop, they have a very very similar noise pattern. Whereas the um, the full frame, uh, the 1080p file with no zoom that's been blown up has a very has a very different noise profile. So. For fun, I decided to shoot with some old C-mount lenses that I had that I bought for when I had the GH2. And um, they work pretty well, actually. I, I'm actually really surprised at how good the quality is, especially considering how much I had to zoom in. on um, When I use this lens, um, I think it's designed for like a half-inch sensor because I had to go all the way to like two times zoom over the APS-C. This one is um, it's a 25 millimeter CCTV lens. It just barely vignettes on the GH2, and on this camera, if I go to 1.4 crop over um, 1.4 zoom over APS-C, it works pretty good. And I think the image quality is, um, yeah, all things considered, is actually pretty solid. So, so yeah. So in total, digital zoom works. I think it works really well. It's not quite as good as um, either APS-C crop or not zooming at all, but um, to give you an idea of how good the image quality still is, here's a comparison with the with a 1.5 crop versus the A6000, which is I still think is a really good video camera. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you found this as, as exciting as me. Um, I don't know. I feel pretty cool right now. I feel like a little bit like Magellan, like I discovered something. You know, like um, I read a lot of camera. I watch a lot of camera reviews. Read a lot of camera reviews. And you know, some some person's always discovering something. Like Philip Bloom discovers that you can sharpen 5D Mark III footage, and other people discovered how good the crop mode on the GH2 is. And I don't know. I feel. I feel pretty cool that I that I just that I got to discover something new on uh, on a camera. So um, I hope you know I, I hope this uh, hope this catches on because I think it's a really cool um, beyond just you know ego reasons. I think this is a really cool feature and it adds like a lot of functionality to um, into the system. I mean this system is very 
it's very barren with lenses and I think this gives a yeah it gives a little bit um, a little bit more a little bit more versatility to what little we have to work with thank you for watching and if you like this please subscribe and if you like this video please watch my other videos they don't get a lot of views and I work really hard on them and I think they're really good and they're really funny or I try to be really funny so yeah please watch